The Labrador Retriever is the world's most popular sporting dog for a lot of reasons. They make great pets, great companions in the field, and there are three main colors recognized by the major kennel clubs, black, yellow, and chocolate. The waters get kind of muddy though when you breed labs of different colors because two labs of one color can produce offspring of a different color. And that's produced by the different genotypes that are possible. So today we're gonna take my art and help animate this and illustrate it and simplify it so you can see how the three main colors of labs are bred. Labs get their color from a pigment called eumelanin, which is controlled by two genes represented with a B and an E. There are nine possible genotypes. Every lab has a combination of these B and E genes called their genotype with nine possible genotypes that control their color. So it's kind of like the old Punnett square, if you remember from high school with Gregor Mendel crossing P's and all that kind of stuff. You've got your um, E's and your B's, and the capital letters are the dominant, the lowercase are recessive. So capital E, capital B is gonna be your dominant, lowercase e and lowercase b is going to be your recessive, which means black genes for black labs are going to be the most dominant. So out of these nine possible phenotypes, four of them are going to be black, two are going to be brown, and three are going to be yellow. You really have to diagram this stuff out to understand it, but for, for very simple terms here, black labs can produce black, yellow, and chocolate puppies. Chocolate labs can only produce yellow and chocolates, and yellow labs bred together can only produce yellows. So in our examples here, we're talking about breeding two black, two chocolate, and two yellow. They can get even further complicated when you breed a yellow with a black, or a chocolate with a black, or a chocolate with a yellow. But the genotype structure stays the same, and you can kind of predict what you're going to get based on the parents involved. Now it's really important to notice that the color is no indication of character. So labs are a single species while certain, you know, behavior traits might be related to their parents, the color has no indication whatsoever of the character of the lab. So a lot of times people they may have had a really calm yellow and a really hyper black when they were kids and so they automatically think that blacks are hyper and yellows are more laid back. That doesn't have anything to do with it. That's a personal preference. It's not science. Um, as far as the eyes, blacks and yellows are going to have brown eyes with black rims. Chocolates are going to have brown eyes with brown rims. The nose, blacks and yellows are going to have black noses while chocolate labs are going to have brown. Now, sometimes on the EEBB lowercase yellow, you can have a brown or a liver nose. But again, that is the most rare out of all these. So by no means is that a huge deep dive scientifically into labs, but it's a way that we can use my art to show you some of the basics, some of the high level stuff. All of this art and information is in my Labrador Retriever paper print available at ryankirby.com. We, we put a lot into those and you can see there's a ton of information, not just on genotypes, but also the, the character and, and uh, the habits, behaviors of labs that make them so popular. So check those out at ryankirby.com and I hope you enjoy this information and art.